Good freaking morning, everybody. It is early, and we are BWI, Baltimore, Washington, Thurgood Marshall International Airport, because we are going on an adventure. And we are also cosplaying as Mr. Beaky from Legends of the Fog. We have been holding the details of this adventure back from our YouTube community thus far because so much this year has changed on a dime. We've had to cancel three different vacations already in 2020, and there was no guarantee that we weren't going to have to cancel this one as well. But we have made it as far as the airport. We are on time. And now we wait. You were probably expecting a glamour shot of the plane to go right about here, but unfortunately there's no glamour in this shot. Sorry. So while traveling in a pandemic can still be very risky, and you definitely shouldn't do it if you're not comfortable with it, I will say that at least at our airport, our local 1BWI, things have been very safe. Uh, distance has been pretty widely enforced. Everyone who's not eating, like this person here, um, is wearing a mask. I am well... You are, you are quite a ways away from the next individual who's not with our party, yes. Uh, we are flying Southwest today, flight 1776. Um, they have said that through at least the end of November, they will be spacing out the middle seat, so they're not filling every plane to capacity, meaning that as a party of two, we have a row to ourselves. That will not be the case forever, but it is the case through at least the this holidays. Trip. This trip, yeah, that's what mattered. We did pay for early bird so that we wouldn't have to wake up at Odark 100 and check in ourselves 24 hours in advance. So we'll be some of the first aboard and then we'll give, kind of give you the lay of the land on the Southwest flight. I want to give a huge shout out to the Southwest employees who have decorated for Halloween. I think this is absolutely amazing. Halloween just kind of brings everyone together, you know? Coming to you live now with your 6.30 update. I should have been rolling for that entire announcement that just went off over the PA system, but I wasn't because because apparently uh, additional regulations for the pandemic that were not mentioned on the Southwest website or the BWI website include uh, the mask type that you're allowed to bring on the plane, which has transitioned now away from things like neck gaiters, masks with valves, she said crochet masks, Bandana. um, bandanas, um, basically anything that is not going to sufficiently cover your mouth and your nose, it is made of several layers of fabric and is going to loop securely around your ears, is not going to be allowed on Southwest flights moving forward. So they did say that if you brought one of those masks because you were unprepared or because that regulation had recently changed and you just didn't know, they do have masks available at the front desk or the reception desk of your gate. Um, they can provide you one if you're caught off guard. However, just for you guys at home to know if you're flying Southwest in the future, those type of masks are not going to be allowed. It's go time, everybody! You've been here a thousand times. I missed you too, Disney. 
we're glad that you were here and we hope that you enjoyed your end of the spirit. Looking an awful lot like mine. <laughs> And now, to Magical Express. Plus 45. Hey, Kirby and Beach. Oh, the magic has begun. So this morning I believe you are officially young. <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming in. It's time to have fun, to cherish memories, the friends and families. Welcome home. Thank you for coming in to this evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my quarantine time, I spend some time writing and composing for you. <laughs> Just in case you hadn't had your fill of Hamilton yet, they got it playing on Magical Express. First, wear a face covering, darling. It's not just stylish, it's smart. All guests two years of age and older, along with cast members, are required to wear a fabulous and appropriate face covering. Literally as we were pulling up to the resort, we got a mobile notification that our room was ready. So thank you, mobile check-in. And now we're trying to find our way there because this resort is huge and we've never been here before. <laughs> oh, there is no more beautiful sight than that Skyliner running at full speed through a beautiful blue sky and trees. This is the most scenic walk I've ever had to a distant room. Did you find it? Yeah. Building 32. Second floor room right on the water. Are we in the end? Oh, are we facing the water? No, we're not. <laughs> I thought when I rounded the corner I would see the, the river again, but I didn't. Moment of truth. It worked. We have changed into our party clothes and we are now on our way to the Skyliner station which appears to literally be right across the pond from where we are. Yep. We could not have gotten a better room. Those of you familiar with Florida may already know that it has two settings, beautiful and sunny and torrential downpours. Luckily we caught you it on a beautiful hot. sunny day. You forgot ungodly hot. It's not actually ungodly hot though. No, it's not. It's it's it was 66 degrees a couple of minutes ago. I think it's getting up to 70 now. I think the high is supposed to be maybe 75 or something today. It's supposed to be really nice. And it's still warm relative to where no, we came no. from. And so the humidity is low. Well, I've been to Florida many times. This is a great day. This has already been the best day of our young lives. <laughs> Everything worked out just so. There was no guarantee we were going to be able to walk right onto the Skyliner as soon as we got here. But here we are. For those who are <laughs> keeping track, it is our first time riding the Skyliner. It is our very first time riding the Skyliner. We could not be more excited. This is a very important piece of the travel vlog that I do not want to omit. Our very first ride on Disney Skyline. <laughs> I've seen this in so many other vlogs. Now I'm seeing it with my own eyes. It's amazing. Epcot. Epcot, in and to your left, please, in and left. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Left. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Please watch your step. Please remain seated and enjoy. Thank you. We got frozen. Sit on that side of the 
We got frozen! Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of room to breathe in here. There's a lot. What with it being one party per car? I can see them possibly depending on how things go. Yeah, that would not work for stroller people though. No, but they might do it like every other one or something. I don't know. It, it could be it's, it's an option, but I'm not sure it's one that makes sense. Here we go. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa! This is like a ride unto itself. Oh, uh, this is cool. Oh, there is a lot of air flowing through here. Yeah, it's very comfortable. This I mean, is... it's a cool, it's a very mild tempered morning, but this, you can feel it. Oh, here's that message. Welcome aboard, Islanders. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Is this We're real flying life? to Disney's Riviera Resort life. with continuing flights to Epcot. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the non-skylining Tim of the future coming to you now. So excited were we about getting on the Skyliner, being on Disney property, and getting to Epcot that we totally forgot to record some sort of end cap for this segment. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap the travel vlog up here, but don't fret, every day is a new adventure, and this particular adventure is just getting started. Many more vlogs coming to you soon. We had a great trip and we can't wait to share it with you. In the meantime, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and if you're so inclined, go ahead and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video from us. Thanks a lot, everyone, and we will be back to you guys very, very soon.